In today's video, I've got a HP Envy 15 that's running a Ryzen 3 2300U. And this particular one, if you have a look down here, we can faintly see the start bar like the backlight's dead. If we have a look over here. So you can just faintly see it, that it is there. Looking about here. And I've been scratching my head trying to figure this one out. I've updated the drivers, which then briefly got it going for a short period of time. So what I've done from there is dug a bit further and found this particular issue with it. If we have a look on the main screen over here, which we can easily see. If I go into settings, I'm trying to get that to focus for you, I'm sorry. Device manager. So right now, this screen here that we're looking at is connected up via HDMI and the brightness of it's independently controlled. Once we're here, we want to go into monitors. And we've got plug and play monitor lock, which I'm not sure, I can't say I've ever come across the lock side of things. So right now, I'm just trying to de determine which one is the screen. But it doesn't matter. Either way, we should go into we should just be able to go into either of them, shouldn't really matter. Double to click on it, go drivers, update driver, and then we want to go into browse, let me pick, and go generic plug and play monitor. Go next. That's done. I will just do it on the other one, just in case. Update, browse, let me pick. Generic, plug and play. Install. And there we go. We now have display back on the original monitor. Now it took me a while to figure this one out. But the other drama that I had was I could not adjust brightness. As you can see there, minimum brightness. So when it was into when it was set to plug and play monitor standard lock, you could not adjust brightness on the on the device. All the other hotkeys will still function perfectly fine, but the brightness one was locked out. So I'm assuming that's for some particular reason. I'm not sure why I would go down the path of using that, whether or not it's for color color, color calibration software that may lock it at a certain brightness. I'm not too sure. But anyway, that is the solution to get it going. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.